Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Hey family. I know I usually say good morning family, but it's not morning time anymore. Today is the first day that we've actually got some fall type weather. You know, we've still been in the triple digits out here, but today we have 87 degrees as a high. So it is probably two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's nice out here. It's really nice. So I was actually going to cut the grass right now, but then I remembered that I found two of these bee houses at Ross on clearance for $3.99. So I think I'm gonna hang one instead and I think I'm gonna give another one away. You know, I have a lot of Insta friends that really brighten my day and you know, they all garden, they have homesteads, and I think they would really enjoy one of these bee houses. So I think I'm gonna send one to one of them. But look at that, $3.99. Now you guys know I build a lot of stuff and um, the supplies alone would cost more than $3.99. So this was an actual bargain. So I did pick up two of them. And like I said, I think I'm gonna give the other one away. But before I cut the grass, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this. The only thing is I don't know exactly where I'm gonna hang it. So let's take a look and see what I can find. So we are well, technically, I guess we are in fall already, but, you know, here in California, it's so hot that, you know, we're just now heading into the fall season. So I've been getting the garden ready for fall. I do have a few things that are coming in. I actually, look at that, got some pole beans over here. I still have one watermelon over there. Some volunteer tomato vines that came in and uh, grapevines. I already started pulling stuff out of here, cutting things down, pulling tomatoes out. I started planting already. And as you can see, everything is covered with wire grates because I have digging every day. Either squirrels or the skunks are out here digging things and I don't want them digging stuff up. These are the yellow cucumbers and um, over here I already have the radishes and some of the spinach is coming up for me. And I got one lone bean coming up over here. But um, where do you guys think I should put this bee house? My first thought is somewhere over here on the pond enclosure. I have a water source. It'll be out of the way so the kids won't mess with it. But I don't want it to become a spider habitat also, or should I say either. So I'm really thinking somewhere over here. I think that might be a winner. So it's really easy, really simple. All you need is a hammer, ruler, and two nails. Let's make sure, I think it had two holes on the back. Yep, I know there's at least one. So I'm gonna hang that. Then I'm gonna cut the grass. So before I hang this, I thought it would be interesting to learn a little bit about the house and what it was made for. So it's intended for mason bees. So it says mason bees are solitary native bees, which are the most prolific pollinators on our planet. Mason bees are not aggressive like honeybees because they do not have a queen or make honey. 
Instead, each female mason bee has one job in her life, to lay as many eggs as possible. Because of habitat loss, mason bee populations are declining. This bee house can provide a safe place for friendly mason bees to lay their eggs. Once a female mason bee establishes her home in this house, she will lay her eggs, fill the tubes with nourishment, and seal off the entrance with mud so her young can safely grow for next spring's hatch. So yeah, I'm thinking that if I put it right here by the pond, because they are not aggressive bees, that it won't be an issue for anyone sitting here on the bench. So I think I am going to stick it right over there. Okay, so there's only one hole back here, not two like I thought. So you know what? One nail will be perfect. Let's see if it has the right head size on there. And you know what? I think I'm going to need a bigger head on there. That's too small to hold that if the wind or anything hits it. I don't think that's going to hold it pretty good. So I'm going to go and get a nail with a bigger head on it. Before I go, another interesting thing. Did you guys know that bees help pollinate about 30% of our food supply and 90% of plants? That's a big job. All right, so the bee house is up. It was as simple as one nail and sliding it on. Like I said, make sure you have a nail head that's wide enough to keep it in place. It's pretty sturdy. And hopefully some bees will find a home. If not, it's just a cute decoration <laughs> added to the garden. So reading more on here, if you live in a little bit of a harsher climate, it has um, a little different um, instructions because this is saying to bring it inside in the fall, not inside your house, but into sort of a, um, like a garden shed or someplace that's sheltered. Um, Cause it's saying to hang it five to seven feet high on a wall or fence that gets morning sunlight under an overhang if possible. Um, Plant native plants and flowers nearby to draw in super pollinating bees. Create a moist patch of soil so that they'll have mud nearby. Um, in the fall, store the bee house with cocoon larvae inside in an outdoor shed or covered location for winter. Do not store inside your house. In the early spring, they want you to return it back outside. The males will come out first and then the females. And then it says, hopefully the females will return to lay eggs and the cycle will continue. So I think it's just a cute little project. I have tons of bees in the summer and in the spring. So hopefully this will help bring more, especially non-aggressive. And like I said, even if they don't utilize it, still just a cute little decoration to add to your garden and hopefully it won't get filled with spiders <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me I am about to knock out this grass because as you can see it's getting a bit wild out here and um, you guys enjoy the rest of your day